Aloha! I just received an email from one of my students asking me for help on how to solve a given problem. Uh, that tends to trip up a lot of students and some of the reasons that this trips up students is just the wording of the problem, that they're not used to it, and also that they may, they may not be used to certain accounting terminology that we have become comfortable with as accountants. So I'm going to step you through this problem and I'm going to show you how to compute the balance. And there's multiple ways of solving this. I'm going to use a t-account approach and if we wanted to we could use another approach which is more of a formula approach like beginning cash plus your additions, deduct your subtractions, gives you your ending. But you'll see the same thing happens in this t-account. So for example, let's assume you started the month with $278 in your cash account. Well as you know cash is an asset. Its normal balance, in other words the side that assets increase on, is the debit side, the left hand side, so I'm going to put that 278 in there. Then it says during the month you paid, and whenever you hear the word paid, you should imagine in your, hand, in your mind that cash is going out. So if cash is going out and the debit side is your plus side and the credit side is your minus side, then you need to deduct. And I'll put it down here as, it, as the out. You then sold $21 of inventory, that was the cost of the goods sold for $42. Now since I didn't say cash, you have to ask yourself, was this on account or was it in cash? Since I do not specifically say this was on account, you have to assume that this was for $42 cash. So that means cash is coming in. That's the plus side. Debit. You purchase $53 of inventory on account. That means you have not paid for this yet. You may pay for this later on, but you have not paid for it yet, so it does not affect the cash account. You would simply debit your inventory account and credit your accounts payable. That is not a cash impacting transaction, at least not yet. You sold $37 of inventory for $80 on account. Once again, cash is not involved. This is on account. You would debit cost of goods sold, 37, credit inventory, 37, debit accounts receivable, 80, and credit sales revenue, 80. Cash was never involved. Paid, there's that magic word again, paid, on account related to purchases from the prior month. So you paid 31. So that's uh, where we're at. Now all you have to do is you have to compute the balance. Well, the way you compute the balance for an asset account is you add your debits and you deduct your credits. And I'll do the formula to handle everything. And there's your answer. So in this particular solution, what we tend to do as accountants is we will put an underline here just to show that we've subtotaled this. Okay, so there's a subtotal 270. The additions, which is the debit side, less the subtractions, which is the credit side, gives you a new balance of 270. I hope that helps. Aloha.